These are totally joyous numbers. I mean, look, these companies are very, very good. And what they did was really have the right stuff and recognize that this is going to be a blowout. So what did they do? They had the right inventory. Uh, that's very important. Remember, uh, some of the great people like uh, Mickey Drexler over time has always said, listen, you can't have you've got to be very careful with inventory. You don't want too much. You don't want too little. These companies were extraordinary. They actually got it right. David, when you see Home Depot doing that number, Walmart doing a number, they had the right merchandise. They knew what people wanted. And we should celebrate business people who know what they're doing, plan ahead, have a great idea, and don't cut their dividend and don't screw the shareholders. Oh, my gosh. I Sorry. Know we're gonna, no, listen, we're going to talk more about it. It's 24 hours since we first discussed that. But uh, that was, he was referring to AT&T there when he said that at the end. But, yes, on Walmart and controlling inventory, uh, wow. it's always such a key. Our, my friend David Berman has talked so often about right. that in the past and keeping an eye on inventories because it, if you have too much, it means eventual markdowns and then margins obviously are compressed. Right. In this case, not the case. But that's so hard to do. Yeah. I mean, that's why the, people don't realize. I mean, my father was at Gimbel's. Right. And they, that's an old department store. And they yes. always had too many gabardines. Okay. Too many gabardines. Too they had to take the mark down. And it was just a disaster. I mean, I can't, you know why these stores are? How much they have to have, including garden? And for Home Depot, that Carl, these guys are fantastic merchants. Yep. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, Home Depot inventory up 28%, Jim. And it still wasn't enough. Still, still not enough to enough. keep up with sales up 30. It's so joyous. And I know that uh, Diana, was, Diana Oak was talking about uh, the real estate, the uh, home builders uh, really kind of saying no at last to lumber. Uh, I have to tell you that the home builders are smart to do that. But you can't even get, it's very hard to get an appliance out of Home Depot or Lowe's. You really have to, uh, really have to root around. Again, because, well, the, home, the appliance guys can't make, as many, can't make them fast enough. The plumbing guys can't make them fast enough. But at least these big companies, David, had what was necessary to be able to have these kinds of quarters. Yeah. I think it's incredible. Well, what they also have is a digital strategy. Yes. Uh, and that becomes, as we know, has become so even more important. Obviously, it's not as though it wasn't important for years now. And Walmart has been building on it for quite some time. But they know their customers. 37% growth in e-commerce. How do you pretty, do that? It's a pretty big number. And, you know, we used to say, well, it's off a very small base. Not so small Quite anymore. Two, almost 3,000 right? stores. Yeah, not so small anymore. We don't celebrate the good yeah. guys, David. And that contributed 360 basis points to comp sales, which overall were up 6%. How about Macmillan delivering with grocery yes. over at Walmart? Yes. Grocery was the standout. That says that Walmart Plus isn't so big. Storm quarter. I should take over that. I'd be much more emphatic. You would. Well, you're yeah. joyous. I am joyous. I'm, I'm joyous. I no. am joyous when I see American business people do such a great job and not shenanigans and not financial engineering. Just good old-fashioned merchandise, merchandising <laughs> and knowing what they're doing and really being ahead. Carl, everyone said that when Mark Lurie, everyone, some noted wag said when Mark Lurie was away, left uh, Walmart, he took the uh, Walmart Plus with him. How many of these analysts came out and said Walmart Plus isn't doing well? Shame on them, Carl. They got it wrong. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.